Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Ah, the red zinger is up on the wall. I have both the side borders on and one of the, and the top. We'll just call this the top. There we go. Ta-da! I have to trim it so you can see. I just left this so that you can see how I work the edges. And there's the base that it's sewn onto. It's just a piece of white fabric that I got out of the bins yesterday. Uh, so I have another one of these cut, which is right here. And hopefully I get that done. Now, I did have a few of you write me and say, oh, you can miter the corners, which would look lovely. Um, but those are already sewn on now. I'm not gonna unsew them. And yes, I could, but you know, I think miter corners are something some of you think of all the time, but I think you're a minority. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I've taught a lot of people. I've looked at a lot of quilts online and in person and mitered borders. Miters where you have the angle, so you have to do a little bit of extra work to make a miter corner. But I have noticed that it is not the go-to for most people. And for me personally, it is never something that pops into my head. It just doesn't. It's just not the thing that I think of. Um, I would put a cornerstone, like a square, before I would put a mitered corner. Um, not that because they're hard, it's just, I just don't think of it. It's just not in my brain set. So anyways, I just thought that was kind of an interesting observation when a couple of you wrote about that and I thought, oh yeah, that could, that would, that would have been nice, but hey, I'm not doing it because uh, I'm, I'm already at this point and I just want to move on now. Um, but you could do a minor corner. So if you are still at this point where you don't have your borders put on yet, you just need to make them longer so that you can miter them and do the, um, you know, fiddling around to get them to work. It'd be really pretty. Okay, so today is Socialites Day and we are on the fourth block. So we're just getting started with this project. The Socialites is run by the Fat Quarter Shop. It is a free uh, quilt along and it has a whole bunch of designers. I am one of them where we submitted a block uh, for the program and you get to do the block every month. The Fat Quarter Shop did all the heavy lifting. They wrote all the patterns. They did all the calculations for the three different sizes. And uh, so you could pick, you could do all six inch, all three inch, um, all nine inch blocks and I'm doing six inch. So I'll show you the block first. So this is mine. And then I just wanna walk through the fabric a little bit and show you uh, how, I, how I decide to handle it. So let's go. I am doing the six inch blocks and so I always circle so I don't get, just glance down and get in the wrong column while I'm cutting. That's no fun, particularly if you cut it too small. <laughs> Although, the small ones are pretty small. I probably know, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so Flirty, Flirty has a lot of different fabrics in it. So it was done that way versus, um, you know, two, tri two half square triangles at a time. Each tr half square triangle is made by itself. And so I looked at bringing in maybe all green with this really pretty little strawberry in the center. So I'll fussy cut one of these, maybe, maybe that one. It's kind of cute or this one here. I like that one too, so you can see the whole berry. I don't know if they're strawberries, but they're, they're darn cute. Um, so, you know, if you do that technique, you get a little bit of a, a waste uh, unit because it'll be pretty small with these. Uh, you know, the bigger block, if you're doing the, the nine inch blocks, they will be a little bit bigger unit. Uh, but what do I have from before? So let's see, this is only our fourth block. So, you know, once again, it's kind of the honeymoon uh, phase of a sampler where as long as you're using all the fabrics that you pull together that all look good, you know, you're, you're pretty much going to work out and it's going to fit in and you can, you know, rearrange blocks before you sew them all together if you want to. Uh, so you don't have to really plan placements at this point. Uh, so there you go. So I've got all of these. So if this one was all green with a little center peach, that would be really pretty. Or I could do two at a time. So if I just picked three of these, so how would I do that? So the one way I could do it, if I wanted them all very tonal, I could pick those three. Do you see how that makes a huge difference in what you're looking at? These three versus all of those where the, the others have a lot more pattern. So if I took away all the tonals, then these three, 
greens have a lot more pattern on them. This one is a repeat of that one, but there you have a lot more pattern. Or you could mix it up some. I could do two tonals and then one with a little with some pattern on it like this and do two at a time. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to use those three or or even, or the, maybe this one. Remember that scrap I, I had the other day and I put in here? I'm going to use that one. So instead of cutting into the other fabric. So if I do these three, this one will be fairly light. Uh, but it's got a little, you know, it doesn't have a ton of more color in it like this one does. This one has a lot more color, which is fine. That would be fine too. But I thought, oh, I think I'd, I think I'd like to do those three. And I'll do two, two, two at a time instead of one at a time. And so the finished unit is two inch. So I will cut three inch squares out of my green and my white to do this, uh, these two at a time half square triangles. So I'm going to just change it up just that tiny little bit. And also if you hadn't seen this, I am using one of the zippy bags that, uh, look how sweet this is. This is, Melissa made this for me. She is one of our ambassadors. And I put in the, um, you know, just some, some stuff like, I've got this uh, design board in there just gives it a little bit more shape so that it stands uh, up on my shelf. I've got the little socialites pool on the bag. Isn't that cute? Okay, so those look at, those go in there really well. All right, so this is the plan. I'm gonna sew that one up. I went ahead and cut these on the die cut. This one does uh, more than what I need at a time, so I just use the sections that I need because I only needed a layer of each, but I could do all of them at once. So I layered, you can see it over here best, I layered the white and the green right sides together, so when I pick this up off of here, just like this, I can just run it right through the machine and it's ready and I need two of each, so it did that. And over here, I had some little extra, so I just let it le you know out on the edge there it is, uh, and here is uh, this one for the the third the third one. So they each have two, and there was a little overlap here, which doesn't matter because then I just had this little extra strip on it, and an extra strip under here. I do have to get rid of because they were overlapping those greens right at the edge because this is like a seam right here. There's no seam allowance area, you know, between there. So there was a little bit of overlap of, and I just got rid of that part. So anyways, here's a little, another little piece. So I have all of these ready to go ahead and sew. Voila. And I could see how, see how little uh, waste there is. Now I could have cut these a little bit smaller and I could have cut those a little bit smaller if I wanted to. And um, it would have been about, these I cut like three and a half versus three, which what I would have done if I was doing two at a time. So it really, uh, I could have done probably three and a fourth and maybe been super, super, super frugal and getting it right, right on the edge. But I'm okay with just a little bit more. So the six inch is super cute. I decided to be very balanced. Um, I have the same light on the two ends and then alternated with the, um, the other two fabrics. So there's just, I just did three fabrics and, and I decided to, cause I've got the AccuQuilt all open still over here uh, that I'm working with it, that I just went ahead and did my half square triangles with that, which worked out super nice. Okay, so I have to show you a, a snack, <laughs> a snack, a snack. So I was in the store the other day and the mint M&Ms, look at this, look at this little temptress on here, this little green M&M girl. Oh my goodness, she is, she is something else because the mint ones are my faves. I just love them. So I had to get some mint ones even though we're not anywhere near the holiday season yet. It's still a few weeks off, but it was so fun to just go and look at everything. And I may have picked up once something else, but you know, who knows, I'm not telling yet. <laughs> So other things today, it is Veterans Day. And so I would love for you to celebrate our veterans and show your quilts that you have either made for a veteran or a patriotic quilt that you have done. So I'll tell you a little story. Uh, years ago, I had a fabric line with P&B and it was a patriotic fabric line. And the whole 
thing of the fabric line was to, it was partnered with a uh, veterans group and so a lot of people make quilts with my fabric line including me including the free pattern which I'll pop a picture up here you can still get this free pattern and then my quilt uh, traveled so all these quilts traveled around the country and were exhibited at different quilt shows and then all the quilts were gifted to a veteran and so my quilt went to a veteran um, my father-in-law was a veteran of both World War II and Korea so he fought in both of those places and served served our country well uh, so anyways let me just say that uh, the today will be a very beautiful red white and blue day I am sure with your quilts we just had a bunch of quilts for the Marine Corps birthday and there were Marine Corps quilts so see I told you you'll have them <laughs> All right, so I want to show you some goodies. So we'll just go on the other side of the table so I can lay them out there and we can just chat about some good things. Oh, wait, wait, before we do that, it's also Origami Day. So I don't know if you love origami, leave me a comment here in YouTube, not over at the Facebook group, Facebook group because people won't understand that these random things over there leave it here at uh, YouTube the comment if you do origami or love it which is paper folding I actually did an origami fabric butterfly once um, for an event it was I, I couldn't find it I don't think I had that quilt anymore but it was they were just they were 3d uh, yeah they were kind of interesting to do there was had to have some sewing to keep the shape of the butterfly but they were, they were kind of cool okay let's go to the other side first I am working my way along this uh, Santa's letter on the black canvas which um, is not as bad as I thought it would be but it's not my favorite I still find black a little bit harder on the eyes and then I saw a lot of people using these little wraps that you put around your thread spools to keep the uh, cross stitch together so here is my whole letters to Santa in progress yeah there we go oh, it, I'm not that much I don't have that much more there's just like the lines and then a flower and then I will do this in the other one I will make into pillows the other one's still over there I have not done it yet but it's there it's there um. <laughs> oh I also had on today the tantalizing table topper finale but we'll move that we'll move that till tomorrow and I'll get mine out because I didn't bring it out and I forgot so we'll do that tomorrow okay let's first look at some Christmas things because why not why not I have not shown a lot of Christmas fabrics and of course you know you should be having them now so that you can sew some Christmas things it's getting a little late but Anyway, we're going to look at them because they're so cute. Let me just put that up here. So I think this line is darling. It's called Christmas in the City. And you know that would just speak to me. Uh, it's got the ice skates. I just love, like, you can go watch Rockefeller Center and you can watch the ice skating rink. I think that's the coolest thing. I think I'll do like this. There we go. So you get a bigger piece of it. So this whole line, it's got... It's got like this more teal. It's still green, but it's a really got a you know a little bit bluey. Then ah, uh, there's the village itself. Look at this. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Look at the village, and uh, snowmen. Okay, there's, it's gonna make me go back and forth here with the folding. So there's the snowmen, and I like a border print. Isn't this amazing on coral? Yeah, on ta kind of tangerine. -y. I don't know what that color is. It's wonderful. In there is like little candy canes and mittens and glo gingerbread men, bells, candles. That is so cool. Okay, then a smaller print with the stars, uh, the, the uh, poinsettias. And then here's got doves in with the little twigs. And there we go, the cookies, all the little cookies, gingerbread cookies, some more stars, and there's Santa himself. Awesome. And then, oh, look, I just, this is my thing. This, this retro Santa's, I love it. Look how cute that is. With the, there's a little picture up there. It's a kitty on the mantle. So cute. Okay, what else, what else do we got? We got la 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 <laughs> I love that <laughs> there's a tree with all the ornaments on it 
Ah, oh, so retro. And there's some more ornaments with the deer. They're pretty. Then there's the town on white. The town on white. And what else we got? The trees on white. Those are fabulous. The purple in there. Got a little purple action. And then the stars. And I did get another piece of, this, of the town. So I got a little bit more town to play with. So this is Christmas in the city. And then to keep on the Christmas theme uh, of looking at Christmas things, I have got I found these two bags, uh, Merry, Merry Quilting, Merry Quilting with the scissors and the floss and the bobbins. Uh, isn't that darling? The spools of thread. Where is it? Look at this one. The spools of thread and the needles. This is just so cute. So cute. And then one, a gnome. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Norm Nanette and Baby Bob would be quite jealous of this one. So a family member got on here and they didn't. <laughs> oh, all right. And another thing coming up that you can order, you can pre-order actually, is a pre-order the Jolly Box. So if I, this just came. I'm taping this. It came. We went out and had some lunch and came back and it was here in the mail. I opened it so I could tell you how fabulous it is because I'm not telling you what's in it because it's a secret. It's a mystery box, but it is fantastic. Fantastic. You will, you will be over the moon. There are amazing notions in here and an adorable quilt pattern. You do have to buy backing. That's always the way it is, but it's a, it's a pattern that just comes in the Jolly Box. But, and then the coupon is also super good super good coupon um because you always get a coupon with these with these boxes but yes you definitely need to order yours this is absolutely fantastic i loved every single little thing that's in here so good okay now of course i can't leave christmas behind and not mention so i've got in my sloan zone bag i have my notebook and i've got some patches you can all get all these over at my Sloan Zone shop. <laughs> the Kate Spain designed all of these things. But in here are, in case you didn't get yours yet, is the ornament set. So I've got one with the snowman. And I, this one is fabulous because you can leave it up for Valentine. Yeah, through Valentine's. Same, you could just leave this one up all the time. A star, it looks like a little cross stitching or a hand blanket stitching. Yeah, isn't that cute with the little sewing machine? So they come together, so you get all of them together. Okay, my friend, lots of fun. Had to just I had to show you the fun things. And also a few people ask about the uh, fall quilt that's up here. It is from that layer cake book that I showed you the other day. Uh, that's one of, the, one of the quilts that is in there. Um, and I did it, did it last year or the year before. Okay, it's Socialites Day. Here's all four of my blocks. Don't they fit nice on this big board? I thought, oh, that's good. This is the one for today from Chelsea Stratton called Flirt or Flirty, whatever, whichever it is. Uh, and then if you haven't um, joined yet, you can go back and get the other three and just start in because we have quite a few more of these to do. So um, you aren't behind really at all. You can just jump in today and then work backwards when you can to fill in the other three. So no problem, no problem. All right, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. <laughs> I will see you online. <laughs>